Um, my name is Han Kao Yu. Um, I'm Chief Learning Officer of the California Endowment. I'm just delighted to welcome you to Oakland, especially those of you who flew across the country. Uh, great to have you back. Um, I wanted to do a couple of things. I'm going to introduce the mayor who will be joining us, but I um, want to start off with the land acknowledgments, which we often do at the California Endowment, and want to honor and to really respect that we're on the land of the Ohlone people. And i um, just very proud that Oakland is one of the most diverse cities in the United States with 125 languages and dialect that are spoken here. So just want to absorb in where we are today. Um, I'm going to do, introduce Mayor, and I think she'll be arriving shortly. Um, just, oh, you are okay. Just delighted to see you. Um, so, a little bit about um, the Honorable um, Mayor Libby Shaft. Um, she was born and raised in Oakland, uh, which she proudly describes as the most unapologetic sanctuary city in the in America. <laughs> During her tenure in Oakland, um, uh, Oakland has undergone uh, economic revitalization and building boom, as well as cut violence in half. Her 17,000, 17K, 17K housing plan has helped increase Oakland's affordable housing production, stabilize rent, and decrease evictions. Her innovative public-private partnerships keep Oakland housed and cabin communities is credited with preventing 18,000 families, a, um, I'm sorry, 1,800 families a year from losing their um, housing while resolving some of Oakland's most unsafe streets um, and campments. Um, in the 2019, um, Gavin Newsom appointed Mayor Schaaf to California's first Council of Regional Homeless Advisors. Um, she created Oakland's first Department of Transportation, whose equity-based paving plan is the first of its kind in the nation and will make previously underserved neighborhoods safer um, while addressing the city's decades-old infrastructure um, uh, backlog. Mayor Chef's most proud launching uh, of the Oakland Promise a bold career to pipeline initiative to send more low-income Oakland kids to preschool and college. The Oakland Promise has sent more than 1,400 Oakland students and counting to college with scholarships and mentors, and while giving every baby boom, um, baby born in poverty, a $500 college, college savings plan at birth. Please welcome Mayor Libby Shaft. Do you mind if I actually stay down here and walk around? Is that okay? Like this is a this is a small enough group. Like, or we're, we weren't supposed to. This this wasn't an interview or a fireside chat or anything. Okay, all right. Um, so welcome to Oakland. We are so excited to have your brilliance, your compassion, your interconnectedness here in our town. You know, in Oakland, we call this the town because that other sister city over there is called the city. <laughs> Although I think we're becoming quite a city myself. Um, the work that you are doing today is so critical. Our middle school students are really in crisis. We are seeing unprecedented rates of obesity, unhealthy weight, unhealthy health conditions. We're seeing unacceptable levels of bullying, of depression. Um, but on a very personal level, I am so happy that you are here doing this work because I am the mother of two, two middle school students. <laughs> and so I, um, you know, it's, we, we all talk about kind of the data. Uh, we, we, we think about these population level truths. But let me tell you, every day, the struggle of pulling that PS4 controller out of my 14-year-old's hands and forcing him onto the treadmill. Um, and, and also just hearing the stories, knowing how hard it is in this culture of YouTube and Fortnite um, that, that children are just not being kind to each other. And we know, you know, that's why you're here today, that it's not just one thing. There's no silver bullet. This is not just about 
access to health care or a good doctor, getting mental health in the, the schools. Those are all parts of it. But we have to think about this as an interconnected issue. Since you're in Oakland, I wanted to bring up two things that we're doing that I think align with the purpose of your convening today that really excite me, um, both as a mayor and a mother, because I am always both. Uh, one is Oakland Goes Outdoors. It is a fantastic partnership made possible by our fabulous San Francisco Foundation that will allow every single middle schooler to have an outdoor experience. People think of Oakland as this kind of gritty urban city, which we are, but few people know that we actually have one of the highest per capita amounts of open space of any city in America. You don't have to go to Muir Woods to walk under the majestic redwoods. You can actually just drive up to the Oakland Hills. We have that lake in the middle of our city. It was the country's first official wildlife sanctuary. And so to bring our children out of their neighborhoods, which often lack enough trees, have too much asphalt and concrete, and to bring them into these sanctuaries of healing, because nature is not just a science lesson. It truly is an emotional salve. And so to have this program that recognizes the full potential of this outdoor experience. And yes, there's a little bit of that like adventure trust, you know, doing things that challenge you part of the curriculum as well. But I am so excited that every single, more than 7,000 middle schoolers a year are going to get several opportunities to experience nature in a very holistic way. The other thing that I'm excited about in Oakland that I think is very relevant to your convening here today is something called the Oakland Thrives Leadership Council. Um, I know there are people here from all over the country. How many of you participate in a collective impact effort? Anybody? So, some of you. Um, you know, in Oakland, we just got this off the ground a little less than two years ago. Um, and you know, we, we love going big. We don't do anything small here. Uh, <laughs> usually collective impact might be around one issue like uh, kindergarten readiness or early literacy. We decided to take on the small challenge of making Oakland the healthiest city in America. And we decided that if we're gonna do that, we really need to dig deep on all the social determinants of health. And so this collective impact effort actually has five impact tables, health, wealth, education, housing, and safety. Now that sounds like a lot of problems to solve, but let's be honest. If any one of those five things is not working for you, you do not have health. And so when we look at something like chronic absence in our schools, especially in our elementary schools, we know that all five of those issues are at play when we actually dig underneath what is causing our youngest children to miss school. And so while the work is hard and most collective impact experts would tell you to not quite bite off that much, we know that we have failed our children for not being ambitious enough, for not taking things on at a systems level that actually produces culture change, not just helping the lucky few that got into this nonprofit program or this after school program. And that is the thing that I guess I wanna leave you with, that at the end of the day, we need public-private collaboration. And it's because of this, um, you know, I've, I've dedicated my life to city government. Uh, I know that I am like the first mayor in Oakland's history that just got my 20th anniversary certificate because I've actually been a city worker <laughs> long before I became the mayor. Um, and and <laughs> I love government and I hate government. Government drives me crazy because we were designed to create stability in society, right? That's why 
people organize themselves into societies or government. And yet we know that when we create stability and predictability in government, we often, maybe not intentionally, are preserving institutionalized racism and barriers to opportunity. And I promise you, I did not come to public service. I did not come to government to do that. And yet, my system that I work in was designed to keep things the same. Government is not a big risk taker, right? Our taxpayers do not like us experimenting. And yet, we have to. The urgency to change these vexing problems that break our hearts every day. It's just not going to happen if we continue to move at the speed of bureaucracy. And so when we pull in partners from outside of government, whether it's academic institutions, whether it's our corporate leaders, our amazing philanthropies, and I have to tell you, the California Endowment, like these people are my heroes. And maybe I'll, I'll end by talking about um, the inspiration, what, what probably my, my happiest place as the mayor and how the California Endowment helped inspire it, actually. Um, but if we, if, we, <laughs> if we don't collaborate with those outside of government, we are not going to take the risks that we need to take to prove to the risk-adverse people within government that these changes are possible. Because at the end of the day, no matter how successful a program is or a philanthropic investment is, if we don't take what we've learned and bring it into government to change the system, we are not creating lasting change. And I don't know about you, but that is what I am here on this planet to do. <laughs> I guess I will end um, with kind of my debt of gratitude uh, to Tony Eiten, who is just one of the shining lights of the California Endowment. Um, I was working for the Port of Oakland back in, I think it was like 2006, 2007, when Dr. Eiten was um, the health officer for our county. And he really just rocked my world in talking about how your zip code is more determinant of your life expectancy than your genetic code, about how your, your environment matters, and also how hope, hope is one of the biggest drivers of health. This idea of your sense of agency and empowerment really matters. And it was that understanding about why you have to change a culture to create a sense of hope that is important. We, when I became the mayor, we launched something called the Oakland Promise. Anybody who lives or works in Oakland knows that pretty much 90% of the time I ever get a microphone in my hand, I have to find a way to talk about the Oakland Promise because it is my happy place. There are a lot of things that are really rough about being the mayor of Oakland. We're a very feisty city. We tend to not like authority. Like, it is kind of weird that I am the man. Um, <laughs> but the Oakland Promise is the thing that just gets me out of bed every morning. And it's this idea that in Oakland, California, my children are the most brilliant, amazing, shining lights in the world. And that everyone is losing out if we don't help every bit of talent come from these children and make our world a better place. And like I said before, we have systemic barriers to opportunity. We have institutionalized racism that is depriving all of us of this talent. And so when we designed the Oakland Promise, we didn't just do tuition-free community college. We didn't just do multi-year scholarships for the kids that were getting into college. We decided that we would start at birth to tell 
every child that is a member of this community, this Oakland family, that we believe in your brilliance. And so for Medi-Cal eligible parents, we give their newborn babies a $500 college savings account at birth, as well as provide financial coaching for the parents because that moment of parenthood is a moment of opportunity for the parents as well. We give every kindergartner, regardless of income, a $100 scholarship during their kindergarten year. You know how many refrigerators have that certificate on them? Because we want every child to know from that first experience at school that college is their birthright. And when I say college, it can be a two-year college, a four-year college, or a trade certificate. But that education is hope. It is agency. And that means it is also health. So thank you for being here today. I wish you great success in the incredibly critical and urgent work that you are doing for all our children, including the two that I have at home. Thank you.